Hello and good morning. This is Sister Tayo and I'm here again to share the Open Heavens Daily Devotional with you. Um, and I'll be sharing today, Monday, August the 17th. Praise God. I hope you had a lovely weekend. Um, thank you again for visiting my channel. Um, today I'll be sharing the Open Heavens as usual um, for the whole of August. I'll be sharing the Open Heavens Daily Devotional by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Um, I shared this in the month of June and um, here we are in the month of August. Um, so and as I said, Pastor Deboye led me to Christ in October 1997 while I was at university. And this year the Lord began to lay it in my heart to share the, the, the daily devotional, this daily devotional, Open Heavens, um, with God's people uh, on YouTube. Okay, so here I am today. And today is Monday, August the 17th. And Pastor, the title of today's daily devotional is Rejoicing in Hope. Rejoicing in Hope. And so what Pastor does is that he'll give you a few verses to read. There's a memory verse. And when you read those two, then you'll be able to understand the text much better. Praise God. Um, now, today's devotional, the reading is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5, verses 10 to 12. Matthew chapter 5 verses 10 to 12 just the uh, three verses okay so rejoicing in hope hallelujah so and um, all all this most of these words in Matthew 5 are written by Jesus so the in your King James version it's being read okay so let's go from verse 10 Jesus said blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake for theirs is the kingdom of heaven Blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Jesus said, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Praise God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Now the memory verse is taken from the book of Romans. Um, I'll just go there quickly. Romans chapter 12 verse 12 Romans 12 12 from the King James it says rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer let me read that from another version um, let me read the King James again um, it says rejoicing in hope rejoicing in hope patient in tribulation continuing instant in prayer and that's King James Let's read a more modern translation, the contemporary English version, which is a CEV. It says, let your hope make you glad. Be patient in time of trouble and never stop praying. Let your hope make you glad. Be patient in time of trouble and never stop praying. Hallelujah. Rejoicing in hope. Pastor says that Abraham despite being childless at 90 kept his hope to become a father of many nations in romans 4 18. however many christians today have lost hope in god's promises waiting for their physical manifestation before they believe pastor says if you are in that category of christians described above ask ask god today for the grace to remain hopeful in his promises for your life amen so pastor is saying that um hmm, many people because they are waiting for god to do a part they've asked some god for something and there is a delay that they have lost hope now actually in the book of proverbs it says hope deferred they make it the heart sick amen but when your hope is in god you know it shouldn't make your heart sick because your hope is in god who doesn't fail who has never failed he doesn't have a track record of failing amen so but pastor is saying that if you are in the category of Christians described above, ask God for the grace to remain hopeful in his promises for your life. So there's a grace that helps us to, <clears throat> to remain hopeful. Um, you know, um, as I was reading this, I remember the scripture in Hebrews that says, um, um, you, we have need of endurance so that after we have done the will of God, we can receive the promise. So when we're hoping, we know that at the end of our hope, while we are waiting at the end there's going to be a reward if we are waiting on god amen now abraham for example enjoyed this grace amen in romans 4 16 even before jesus was born he, he 
and abraham for example enjoyed this grace in romans 4 16 even before jesus was born and our savior confirmed this when he said your father abraham rejoiced to see my day and he saw it and he was glad that was in john 8 56 so what jesus is saying in that verse is that god had promised that he would give abraham a seed and um that seed he, in fact he he promised abraham that he his children will be as the stars of the heaven innumerable as the sand on the seashore and abraham didn't have a child you know abraham didn't have a child he was already 90 but he believed you know and um jesus was saying that when abraham eventually saw that day because the seed that god was talking about was jesus christ abraham and his seed you know jesus said that when your father abraham your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and he was glad. Amen. The grace was so sufficient that he hoped against all odds and developed faith that earned him friendship with the Almighty God. Because Abraham hoped in God and he waited for God. He, he rejoiced in hope, you know. He knew that God would never fail him. If God had promised him a son, God was going to do it. If God has promised you anything. It doesn't matter how long. God is bigger than what he gives, you know. Um, he knew that God was going to come through for him. Hallelujah. And he rejoiced in hope so much so that it was accounted unto him for righteousness. Amen. Pastor says that hope is a key element in describing faith, as in Hebrews 11.1, 1, without which no man can please God in Hebrews 11.6. Hope ensures that we obey his commandment to always rejoice, even in the midst of tribulations. Hallelujah. Hope is the assurance that what we desire will come to pass in Romans 8.24. Today's memory verse also lets us know that through hope we can develop patience and strength, especially in tribulation. It's saddening, however, that some Christians lose hope and backslide in the face of trials. This ought not to be. For me, I've waited on the Lord for many, many things, but I've come to the stage where if God doesn't do it, it doesn't change how I feel about him. Praise God. It doesn't matter. You know, my, my hope is in God. But if if it happens that God doesn't do it, well, am I going to change God's? No. I told in June, I told a testimony about some of um, some of relatives of mine who were, um, you know, they, they were Muslims, you know, and then along the line, they, be, they you know, they met Christ. And both of them got married and were in Christ. And um, they had a child and then they had struggles financially. Um, and because of the struggles, you know, even though they were in Christ, their other family from the other religion began to cajole them that they will get them a job, but they have to come back to that old religion. And they gave up Christ for the sake of money. Amen. They failed. They have hope. They are, they are faith filled in the day of adversity, but that's not our portion in Jesus' name. Pastor said it's saddening, however, that some Christians lose hope and backslide in the face of trials, and this ought not to be. In today's Bible reading, Jesus, Jesus talks about rejoicing as a means of endurance, as well as the blessings attached to enduring persecutions. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord had promised to him, to them that love him. Pastor says, Hope also helps one to tarry for results in the place of prayer. Someone who lacks hope won't pray long before searching for an alternative. You know, there's no alternative. If, if if God cannot do it, then let it remain undone. If God, if I'm asking God, I've been waiting on God for something and I don't get it, then let it remain undone. I'm contented. God is more than enough for me. Amen. I wrote here that um, God is greater than the thing that you are waiting for. God is our portion in the land of the living. You know, um, I wrote here that waiting has a result, a, re a reward. And waiting is a skill. During the time that you are waiting and rejoicing in hope, God is teaching your spirit and your flesh certain things. And it is good that you endure till the end. Amen. Pastor says that Abraham had faith in God and it was imputed to him for righteousness in Romans 4, 17 to 22. Beloved, are you, are you losing hope already? Please do not because there is glory ahead of you. Be patient so you can obtain as in Colossians 1, 27. Amen. Um, hope, <laughs> when you put your hope in God, the Bible says hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God has been shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in everything, give thanks. I, like I said here, yeah, God is greater than the thing that you are waiting for. 
what if God doesn't do it? Are you going to change God? Or are you going to find an alternative? God forbid. God forbid. You know, the, and the, <laughs> faith, our God is faithful. Hallelujah. He did not fail with Abraham. He will not fail with you. And I, I join my faith with you that that which you are waiting on God for, that it will come to pass speedily. Amen. 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 And the pastor says here, action points. Take time to give God intense worship, even when it seems difficult to do so. Hope shall rise for your comfort. In Jesus' name. You know, the children of Israel, they were traveling through the wilderness for 40 years. But at the, at the end, you know, they got into the promised land. And same with Daniel. You know, the children of Israel have been taken into captivity for 70 years. But at the end of it, they returned to their land. The, the tribulation you're going through has an expiry date. So you have need of endurance so that after you have done the will of God, you can receive the promise. Don't, don't die in the wilderness. Amen. And uh, may God fill your heart with joy. Pastor says you should take time to give God intense worship. Hallelujah. Begin to rejoice and give him thanks. Hallelujah. Praise God. Um, thank you very much for visiting my channel today. I hope this has blessed you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, tap the notification bell. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment or ask a question. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And please invite others to the channel as well. Thank you and God bless you. See you tomorrow.